Hello, I am Mr. Fixit from ES Repair. In my previous video, I showed you how to rip a typical DVD using the WinX DVD Ripper Platinum. Uh, as you can see, it's fairly, it's fairly simple. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a different type of DVD. Uh, these are for like your TV shows. Uh, for a lot of you, you collect your uh, TV shows on DVDs like I do. I mean, I do have quite a few of these TV shows that I like to watch. Um, what you'll do uh, is similar to what we did a while ago in a previous video, but slightly different. So what you'll do is go ahead and put the disc into the drive and go up here to the top and choose disc. Now, you're going to see the name of the disc, uh, as before. As you can see, this is Star Trek Voyager, uh, Season 2, Disc 1. Now, what you'll do is come down here to the bottom and choose OK. Now, of course, it's going to do it just like it did before. Uh, this is the last one that I use, which is MPEG. And I don't need to really change anything. I just want to keep the way it is. Now, again, uh, it shows the video codec that it's going to use. It's going to show the audio codec that it's going to use and the resolution that it's going to use. Now, keep origin means that it's going to keep the original resolution that the, vid the video was recorded in. Nothing's going to change. On the right, uh, we're going to use the standard uh, quality. Uh, if you want to use less quality or faster processing, you can move the slider to the left. Uh, if you want higher quality, you can move it to the right. Now keep in mind, if you use less quality, it will uh, reduce to a smaller file size. Uh, if you, the higher the quality, the larger the file size will be. Now once you've selected the output format you want, choose OK. Now you're going to come back to this screen, and it's going to be like before. Uh, you're going to see the listing of all the titles. Uh, it's going to detect the main title, which in this case it shows Title 3. Now when it comes to TV shows, um, what you'll have to do is pay close attention to the titles, because you'll notice that the timestamp on each title runs anywhere between 0 to 45 minutes. Uh, some TV shows, depending on what the show is, um, they can run anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, so you want to pay close attention to these. Now usually the first four or five titles is the TV shows. And from my experience with these, they are pretty much in the order that they're played. Uh, for instance, this one right here would be the first episode of the disc, then the second, third, and then the fourth. So they do play in order. Now what you'll do is on the chat bar box, you will put a chat mark in each title. Now again, you're going to see the timestamp from 0 to 45 in this case. You're going to see the format that it's in, which you can see this is the older format, the 4x3s. Uh, this is the audio channel that it's using. Uh, this is the AC3 format using six, six channels. Uh, you're going to see your subtitles. Uh, you can select subtitles that you would like to have. Uh, if you want to edit, you can always edit these um, to crop or add subtitles, things like that. Uh, up here you'll see your main title detected is three. So you don't have to worry about this one when it comes to TV shows. Uh, this one down here shows that ready to rip titles will be 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, if you wanted to, you could convert all of these into one single file just by placing a check mark in this box. Over here, you had the target video format. Uh, we're going to do the MPEGs. Uh, you'll see the title of the video. Uh, again, if you want to set tags, uh, you can go here, uh, you can name the tags, or what this v video is, uh, the artist, genres, and any kind of comments you want to add to the video. Over here you have the fine tune icon, the gear. Now this is going to show you the current 
format we're going to use. Uh, this shows the codec that it's going to use for the video, the bit rate. Now the higher the bit rate, the better the quality, but the larger the file size. Uh, this will show the frame rate. Uh, you can choose any frame rate from uh, 2397 all the way up to 30. Uh, aspect ratio and resolution you don't really have to change if you don't want to. Uh, but if you do, you can also change what resolution you want to use. Uh, you can also choose the aspect ratio, the 4 by 3 or the 16 by 9. Most of those you don't even have to change. Audio codec, uh, you can choose the codec that they use, the sampling rate, and the quality of the audio. Now, down here at the bottom, you'll have your folder. Uh, this is where it's going to go. Uh, if you want to change the folder, uh, you can. Uh, you can just click Browse, and then you can determine where you want to save uh, the videos from this disk. Now on the right, uh, if you want to, to make sure that you got the right titles, uh, you can always click Play, and this will play the title uh, that you have selected. Uh, if you want to take screenshots, uh, you can use the camera here, and you also have the folder here that will open the location of your snapshots. Down here you have the video hardware accelerator. Uh, as you can see this one here, once you set this, you pretty much don't have to change it uh, unless you're having some kind of an issue either with the computer or with the video disk that you're trying to rip. If you are having trouble, you can always remove the, di the check mark. Uh, if you're not having trouble, just leave it where it's at. Uh, you always want to use the U use high quality engine. This makes sure that you get the highest quality possible uh, with the video as it rips. Deinterlacing you really don't have to worry about unless there's a reason that you need to uh, deinterlace the video. Usually, it's happening if you're having trouble either decoding the video or if you're having trouble uh, getting the uh, video to rip. Uh, safe mode will turn off all the hardware uh, acceleration and just use software acceleration or use software to do the encoding. Uh, over here, uh, you can just leave the number uh, of cores that your computer can use. Uh, it defaults to the maximum cores that you have. So in this case, I have a quad core processor, so it defaults to four. Now, once you have your video selected, uh, all you have to do now is click Run. You're going to see your current title that it's ripping, the destination of that title. This is going to be the file name that's going to be created, uh, the start time, which is zero, the time that it's going to end, the duration of the video, the current time of the process. The frames per second is something that you can look at because what this does is it re um, identifies as to how fast the frames are, of the video are being processed. Now right now it's doing about 122 frames per second. Now this will fluctuate as the time goes on. The better it can read the disk, the higher this can go. Now I've seen this go anywhere between 300 to 500 frames per second. Uh, and there are several characteristics that will determine on how fast these frames can be processed. And over here you have the remaining time. This is the estimated time that the title will be completed. And of course you have your t uh, progress bar to show your re visual representation. Uh, if you want the computer to shut down after the conversion, then you can put a check mark in this box. Uh, you can also have it open the output folder once the conversion is completed. Now if anything comes up, you can also choose stop and then this will stop the conversion. Once the conversions have been completed, you'll see the pop-up box here that says all jobs have been completed. You simply just click OK and it's going to open all the videos that were just ripped. And then you can simply just open them and you can play the video. 
Well, as you can see, it's very simple to do TV shows that are on DVDs. Now, if you have any questions or any problems, you can always click up here on the um, email icon and you can answer the frequently asked questions. Uh, if you have to, uh, you can go ahead and send an email to them if you have any problems or any questions about the software. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.